George O'Keefe was born November 15, 1887. Her parents were Ida and Frances O'Keefe, and she grew up as the second of seven children in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. When she was 11 or 12, she took a seven-mile wagon ride to the art lesson that her mother paid for. Although Ida did not want her daughters to become artists, she wanted them to become sophisticated ladies. When she was in her art classes, she was using mute watercolors. The thing that she hated most about the class is when her teachers would touch up her artwork. The first big milestone happened. At age 12, she wanted to become an artist. In 1902, their family moved to Virginia. Her mother sent Georgia to a boarding school. Georgia was not happy. One good thing that happened in her high school years is that she won her first award for art there. In 1907, she got a case of typho fever and had to take some time off college. After paying for her health care and education, her family had suffered financially. Georgia stopped everything and she moved back to help her family. During this time, she went temporarily blind and she had to stop painting for a while. She moved to New York in 1914 to study. After she studied in New York for a while, she moved to South Carolina to become a teacher. Then her friend showed some of Georgia's work to a man named Alfred Stieglitz, an art dealer, and he loved the work. Stieglitz decided to put her art in her own exhibit. As soon as she found out, she was not happy, so she went to go talk to him. After she talked with him at the gallery, they had lunch together. They became best friends, and she went back to New York. But she moved to Texas, but she still stayed in touch with him. After doing art in Texas, she moved to New York with Stieglitz. Stieglitz was married, but had an affair with Georgia, and later divorced his wife. In 1924, they got married. It was around this time that Georgia heard her first criticism of her work. It bothered her, but not enough to stop painting. One of the most common subjects for her to paint was the poppy flower. In 1929, she decided to go live in New Mexico, except Stieglitz did not go with her. As she lived in New Mexico, she started to paint bones and skulls since there were no flowers there. Stieglitz missed her, but continued to sell her artwork. Then in 1946, her husband Alfred Stieglitz died of a heart attack. After Stieglitz's death, she started to paint pelvic bones. She traveled all around the world to paint. In 1986, Georgia O'Keeffe died at age 98. After her death, she won many awards. One of my favorite paintings is the Petunia No. 2, painted in 1924. I love how the pink, blue, and purple go together. It looks so calming. Another painting I love is Ladder to the Moon, painted in 1958. I love the way the painting has lots of suspense, and it looks like the ladder will never reach the moon. By that, I mean the angles and brush strokes never end. My last painting is Music, Pink, and Blue, painted in 1918. I feel like it is not quite a flower, and it's not quite abstract. It's right in the middle of those. The color is so vibrant, it kind of looks like a big hole surrounded by a crazy assortment of colors. Sometimes George O'Keefe is not always understandable, but her art is always gorgeous and absolutely beautiful. I hope you remember this knowledge of the fascinating and talented Georgia O'Keeffe.